So Jason, we know that employees need feedback. And in this stage, the feedback is now, not during the performance review, not in six months. If something is happening, the employee needs feedback now, as we talked about in the previous video. And in your book, Unlock High Performance, How to Use Performance Management to Engage and Empower Employees to Review Their Full Potential, which was published in 2018, you talked about how to transfer the performance management to get the best out of your workforce. Can you elaborate about this uh, practice more, please? Sure. Well, there, there's obviously, you know, it's like, how much time do you have? You know, we, 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 th there's a lot in that book. So I'm going to, I'm just going to give you one specific tip. Yes, one practical thing that we can One do. practical thing pointed at this particular question. So feedback, right, is the bane of our existence in most organizations. It's yes. like, you know, no, there's nothing worse than someone walking up to you in the hallway and saying, hey, can I give you some feedback? Like, that, that's just short of someone walking up and saying, hey, can I punch you in the face? It's almost the same. Um, nobody wants feedback. I mean, yeah. like we, we know we're supposed to want feedback. Yes. But but it doesn't always it doesn't always feel very good. Right. I mean, I hate feedback. Most of the feedback I've gotten throughout my life has not <laughs> been it not felt very good. I know I, I know I needed it. Didn't yes. feel good. OK, yeah. so. So let's talk about how what a simple thing we can do to change our relationship with it. And. The, the reason that we the reason that we don't like feedback is because fundamentally feedback is a criticism of past performance. Yes. So it's something I did. I cannot change. I cannot undo. There is nothing. I am powerless to do anything about this. So yes. you showing up to tell me how much that sucked does not feel good, right? That that threatens my feeling of status. It threatens my feeling of value. I get defensive. I don't hear it. Nothing happens. Yeah. That's not helpful. So the, instead, the technique that I love, I didn't create this. And initially, Marshall Golds, Goldsmith was the first one. And then I've heard um, Marcus Buckingham talk about it. Something called feed forward. Mm -hmm. And I know it sounds a little awkward when you say it, but the whole, the underlying idea of feed forward is that while nobody likes to be criticized for things in the past they can't fix, yes. almost everyone on the planet welcomes tips or suggestions for how they could be better in the be future. Better, yes. So if I say to you, hey, could I give you, I have a couple ideas for how maybe you could improve that presentation next time you do it, or how you could make next your next podcast better, you'd probably be like, yeah, I'd love to hear that. Yes. What do you got? Right? Because yeah. I'm not criticizing you. I'm yeah. trying to help. Yes. So when you use feed forward, often what you're doing is you're observing what happened, mm -hmm. right? So whatever happened, you know, you're observing what happened. And then instead of criticizing, I'm offering suggestions that help you then be better next time. Yeah. So it sounds like instead of um, giving, you know, feedback would be like, okay, you know, in that, that interview we did, you know, you, uh, um, I don't, you didn't do this, but like you interrupted, you interrupted me three times. Um, you really shouldn't do that because that shuts down the conversation, right? That's feedback. Mm -hmm. Next time feed forward instead would sound like, Hey, just a couple of ideas. I know we got kind of into it and it was exciting, but there was, um, you know, it's really helpful when you're having conversations on podcasts that you don't you know, you don't jump in to start talking until the guest finishes talking or find a different way to signal. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it doesn't make any, any, uh, um, it's the same feedback. It's, it's just changing the word, how you receive it on your mind. The difference is yeah. it diffuses the defensive response yeah. so I can hear it and learn from it. And, yeah. and at the end of the day, what do we want? We want to improve. improve. Yeah, performance. Yeah. And so you can use that as a manager as an or as an employee with other people, even as an employee with your manager, it works because it's a lot. Um, it's a lot safer way to to provide yeah. um, feedback. A lot of times uh, management are using I'm coaching you that technique also. Yep. Do you agree with that also coaching you? Yeah, coaching. I mean, to me, coaching is fundamentally feed forward is the technique of coaching, right? Because yeah. feed forward is how is really when you look at how sports coaches approach improving performance, it's what yeah. they do, yeah. right? They're not going to beat you up over what you, how you didn't, you know, you didn't pass the ball correctly the last time. They're going to say, okay, next time, 
here's what I want you to think about. Use your foot this way or try yeah. to lead the runner, whatever. Yeah. Right. That's what they're doing. That's coaching. Yeah. Feed yeah. forward is coaching. So yeah, absolutely agree. Thank you for that great tip, Jason. Thank you very much. And uh, for the audience watching, or if you have any other uh, feedbacks, please leave them below. And tune in next time for my final question with Jason.